Ah, today is June the 20th, and you're probably watching this on the 21st because um, nothing goes as I fucking plan it to go. So yeah, um, also I'm pretty sure I just gave myself fucking food poisoning because I ate some old shrimp last night without thinking twice about it, and today I woke up and... Let's just say things aren't necessarily pretty down there or up there. <laughs> Anyways, off subject. Um, today isn't the exact day of my month fucking anniversary of my hormone replacement therapy, but it's around the time um, I lost track after the second video, so I was just like... <sighs> and then I just knew that this was around the time that I had to make it. So yeah, um, I'm going to talk about physical and mental changes, which there's a lot. And then I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions from Instagram. Yay! I'm also... Uh, I I would put more effort into the videos. It's just, I just don't have fucking time. It's like, I always... There's plans left and right. It's like, I don't really have time where I'm like at home. Unless it's like 3 in the morning, and then I'm just like, I'm tired, you know? It's... I'm always out, I'm always doing something, so my apologies for the lackluster editing, but the, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a month since I started my hormone replacement therapy, and let me tell you, it, it's, it's crazy. Um, as far as mental changes, like, I'm gonna tell you this, and like, I don't know if like this is going to be interpreting it the wrong way, but I just feel fucking like a different person and not in a sense that I lost myself but in the sense that it's um it's like a new version of me and ever since I started like after especially like two weeks of being on it I felt more in tune with myself and like I'm pretty sure you know other tea girls would understand where you feel female you know but physically, you know that you're a male still, so there's that stigma where you're just afraid that you look manly and stuff. And ever since I've been on this, I'm telling you, my feeling of that, my, my, my need to be passing has been zero. Like, I've rarely, I mean, I don't wear makeup nearly as much as I used to, and that's crazy because I'm always, like, you know, four inches of foundation and heavy eyes and then heavy lips, always something, you know, and... Ever since I started, it was just like, I just felt like I didn't need it anymore. I still want to, because, you know, I'm good at it, but, <sighs> but yeah. And then, um, other than that, I've just been really, really, really emotional. It's not like as much as like being angry all the time or being sad all the time. It's basically all my emotions are the same. It's just they're all fucking mad, like amplified by like 800 so like if I'm laughing at something I'll laugh so fucking hard and I don't know why like I've never had the feeling before to really you know but like watching a movie that has like a dust scene makes me like ball in tears now and I've never done that before it's so different like I feel like it's really hard to explain my mental changes to you guys because it's like you guys you know me but you're like not with me all the time like in person so it's like you don't know necessarily how I act in person to where you could see mentally. But anyways, I'm just, to sum it up, uh, it's really just, I'm just very, very emotional. Um, I just feel more in tune and more happy, which is great. I mean, it's what I've wanted for three years. And I'm sorry that I sound, you know, all monotone. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, I really feel like I'm about to throw up. But I knew I had to make the video and... I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> as far as physical changes, um, I feel weak. Um, I feel very weak. I feel like I've lost pretty much all this little minuscule strength that I had. Um, walking, I sweat so much more easier. Um, walking upstairs, you know, I feel more tired. Um, I just feel physically drained like my body's sort of like reverting itself back into this little cocoon stage and I'm just you know I think my body's just sort of just trying to get used to the fucking idea that I'm going through puberty for the second fucking time 
But other than that, breast pain, my favorite fucking, <laughs> my breast pain, um, I've had breast pain on this medication since the day I started. And by the day, it's getting more and more and more intense. Um, frankly, it's just, I have the little knots in my breast now. The breasts haven't popped out too much. My skin around my breast area has gotten softer. But as far as phys physically my breasts, they are very, very, very sore and very tender. I can tell that the knots under my nipples are getting bigger and getting more swollen and then my breasts are starting to look, like sag a little bit and you know that's really great because you know not many people who are on this you know have that quick of a result for breasts and the breasts are the things that a lot of transgender or t girls want so when they do their hormone replacement therapy so it's like yeah and now I'm going to answer your questions, and hopefully this video will be under 10 minutes, possibly. I don't know. Let me go to my post. All right. It seems like I have seven comments, so I'm going to answer all of them as quickly as I can. From Hollywood underscore Anne, who gave you the courage to transition from Anne Marie XOXO? XOXO XO to you too. Um... That's a really tough question. I think Lady Gaga really just inspired me to dive in deeper into finding who I was and embracing it. But as far as, like, a person who really, like, inspired me to do my transition, like, get my hormones and everything like that, it's... I don't know. I just watched videos on YouTube and I just, just read up on information about it. There was never really, like, somebody who made me want to do it. It was more... If there, if that person, it would be Lady Gaga to answer your question. <laughs> From Faking Idiots 2.0 asks, what daily, cha what daily challenges do you have during your transition? Pain. Oh my god, like, I have to be so careful around my breasts. I cannot lay on my stomach. It's not, like, too painful. It's just that uncomfortable feeling. Um, other than that, um, I just get very, very emotional. Like, I'll have, like, a mood swing, like, on, in the shower or something. I'll just start crying, and then, like, there's no reason for me to cry, you know, but I just, it's just, I'm just so emotional. So I would say that it's just, my daily challenges would be my breasts being so fucking, like, it's like my testicles are now my fucking breasts, and now, like, I have to be careful, and I have to guard them, and I have to be careful. I can't wear bras because it's just too uncomfortable. So then I have poking out nipples, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. From Matthew underscore 6974, what changes have you noticed? I've already said them, but nipples, breasts, emotional, yeah. <laughs> Pierce dot the dot roars asks, who supported you during your transition? Really, um, all my friends, um, obviously, I mean, my, I wouldn't, they wouldn't be my friends if they didn't, but, um, my friend, um, my mother and my sister, but, Really, it, nobody really wanted me to do it. Like, my family, like, they're okay with me being trans, but they just don't. I, I feel like, you know, that they're just, like, it's just, like, you know, I'm okay with you dressing this way. I'm okay with you wearing makeup. I'm okay with you, you know, doing all this. But, um, it's, like, I think, like, they just, they just don't understand that this is what I need to be happy. They just take my word for it, and my word, I think, hasn't convinced them, so then, um, they are supportive, but I'm the one who, like, basically made this happen. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Josh, M-U-A, asks, girl, I just want to know, when are you breaking out your green wig again? Ah! <laughs> Oh, gosh, I don't have her anymore. I've been wanting to so bad. I've, I've missed my green hair, too, and trust me, if I had the money to either color a human hair wig or buy a synthetic wig from, like, divaswigs.com, that's not, they're not paying me to say that. Of course they wouldn't. I don't have a lot of channel views, but... <laughs> Anyways, um, soon, soon, once I get money in, I want it back, too. Trust me, I want it as back as you do. <laughs> Tiny Devin asks, when did you notice you were a girl? Have you always known? Um, that's a good question. Um, 
ever ever since I was little, I always sort of identified with you know female toys and stuff like that. And I feel like it's a lot that that's just a lot of you know trans girls or even gay people have that where like they're young and they identify with the more female side of things because obviously you know not many you know trans girls want to play with monster trucks and action action figures. They want to play with a Barbie when they're little. Most of the time, I'm not speaking for everybody, but. Um, to answer your question, like, when I found out that I was a girl, it was, um, my freshman year of high school. Um, I came out as gay with the intention that I just thought I was androgynous, and I thought that I was going to be a drag queen. Um, but then, like, once I started, like, dressing up and everything, I felt happy. It felt, it felt, it was just a weird feeling, and I didn't really dwell on it, because I was, like, 13 or 14 at the time, so it was just, like, you know, I just thought I was gay, and, you know, I was already out, so... Um, I started looking into transgenders, and I started watching Gigi Gorgeous and all the, all the other trans girls now, and Lorraine Cox, and I'm pretty sure I said her name wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I feel like I've always known. I just didn't necessarily have any words or any really research to really identify what the feeling was, but I've had the feeling ever since I was little. And then the last and final question from you, Booger. Who in your family supports your gender change? That's kind of the same question as um, Pierce the Rars, but um, really, um, I've had family from my dad's side just not talk to me anymore, just sort of just like shun me away from them. And to be honest, I mean, they never were really a big part of my life to begin with, so I don't really care. But... Um, I would just say my sister, I know for sure, and my mom. Um, my dad, he's okay with it because I told him that, you know, I'm going to do this with or without him anyways. But um, I think that, you know, just mainly my mom and my sister. I mean, my brother is instead like, oh, yeah, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> I think my siblings really just support me because I think, like, they saw me grow up and they saw that, you know, that I was different. But, um... And so my siblings and my mom, for the most part, um, I have cousins and stuff, too, that are, like, really fascinated with the fact that I'm doing this. And, you know, but um, it's kind of been good and bad with my family. Some people have just completely cut me off. Like, you know, I, like, they just had want, wanted nothing to do with me once I, once they knew that I was doing this. And then there were some people in my family who were like, yeah, I want to see you happy. So to basically sum up, and end this video, um, my siblings and my mother. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that I'm so monotone today. I just feel like utter shit, and doing this sober is just fucking hard. But um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. You know, it's really, I think it's really nice, you know, that there's people out there, you know, who really are interested. And the reason why I wanted to do this was so that there's any other girl out there who is afraid to transition or wants information or have like an example to look at you know this is why I'm doing this but I just want to say thank you so much for taking this journey with me and having me with you and I hope and pray that you'll be with me until the end I'll be yours as long as you have me anyways thank you so much for the support and the love I love you so much and next video will be up in about a month or in two weeks, depending on what I can do. And, yeah. Bye. Hopefully I don't fucking vomit and shit my guts out. <laughs>